Amid swarming runners and lively music, one brave young girl stands out amongst the crowd. The beaming bone cancer survivor couldn't wait to help other kids. Letitia Timmonson's cancer was put in remission four short months ago. She now has friends and family supporting her charity walk. It's, I'm proud, of, like, it's good how many people can help. Letitia was diagnosed with osteosarcoma early last year at age 11. The cancer spread to her lungs and she underwent three months of chemotherapy and surgery to remove the bone from her leg. It hasn't been easy but it's been okay. I've come a long way just staying positive, trying to get back on my feet and trying to live my normal life again. The Timminson family spent a lot of time in the Royal Children's Hospital. Letitia's 13 rounds of chemotherapy and marathon leg surgery saw her passing days there. Her family and her father Wayne have been with her for every step of the journey. It was actually very emotional there going through the tunnel at one stage. Tish was walking and people were looking at Tish. I said to Lisa, I said, I'm having trouble here. So yeah, it was great to see. The run for the kids is the single biggest contributor to the Royal Children's Hospital Good Friday appeal, raising more than $1.6 million this year. Despite the poor conditions, thousands turned out here today to participate in the run for the kids. Letitia's family walked in the 4.6 kilometre short course and raised nearly $2,000 for the Good Friday appeal. Some of the Western Bulldogs AFL women's team showed up for the run. Both of us, uh, we're school teachers outside of playing football, so we're super happy to help out today. Whilst many joined in for the colour and the fun, for others the event was important for more personal reasons. My kids have been to um, in and out of the children's hospital a few times before. The Timminson family crossed the finish line with young Letitia managing to walk a third of the course. Harrison Johnstone, Mojo News.